Hello everyone, in this video I explain experiment number seven, magnetic field of electric current. In this experiment we have three parts. The first part, magnetic field of a straight wire. If we have a wire and current path through the wire, so the wire has magnetic field. The direction of magnetic field, can we can get it by using right hand grip. Our finger directed to the, electric, uh, the magnetic field and the thumb directed to the current. So the apparatus of this experiment are a copper wire, part board, white. Uh, not iron filling, we use compass to get the direction of the field. DC power supply, a meter, rest at switch. And this is a long, long straight wire. Now, we perform, we set up the, ex the experiment as shown in that figure. Now, we connect the circuit as shown. So, what we do, what will happen when the switch on? We have two opposite deflection of the compass here. One of them right and the other to the left. One of them to the right and the other to the left. It means this is the direction of the current, the current inward, the current into the page, into the paper. The direction of the field, it is that. So this is the direction of the field. The direction of the field is clockwise. This is the first part of experiment. Now we perform the second part of experiment. The second part of experiment, just we replace the long straight wire by a circular coil, as shown in that one. So, we use the circular coil as shown. Now we replace the long straight wire by a circular coil. So, this is a circular coil. Also here, it is the same way. So, this is the negative and this is the positive. So, this is the positive. Now, what will happen here? We put four compass around each, each one. So, we switch on the circuit. What will happen? That two compass inside, they have the same direction to the left. But that two compass have the same direction, it's to the right. It means this is the direction of the field here, the direction of magnetic field. So, in that part of the line, this is the magnetic field, the magnetic field. In that part, it is the magnetic field. So, in that part, it's clockwise. But in that part, it is anti-clockwise. It's anti-clockwise. So, this is the direction of magnetic field around a circular coil. The third part of experiment, form the third part of this experiment, just we replace the circular coil by solenoid. So, switch off and replace this one by solenoid. This is a solenoid. We connect the wires. So, what happened when we put here the compass and the switch on? This is the direction of the field. This part is the negative and this part is the positive. So, because this is negative, this is the direction here of the magnetic field. So, our finger, our finger represents the current and the thumb represents the direction of the field. This needle of the compass going in this direction. So, this is the south and this is the north. When we put another one here, it's shear to, okay, here. So, this is the north, the direction of the north. So, this is the direction of the magnetic field around the solenoid. If we put here inside, if we put the compass inside, it has the same direction. It has the same direction, straight upward, straight to the north. So the direction of the magnetic field around the solenoid, it's here, 
uh, we apply the right hand grip. The right hand grip told us that the direction of current is uh, are the fingers and the thumb toward the north. So now this is the north and this is the south. So this is the direction of magnetic field around the solenoid. So this is the third part of experiment. Now we answer the question here. Question number one, how does the right hand rule apply to the current along a straight wire? So uh, along, along the straight wire, so right hand grip apply because the direction of the current it is from up to down and the direction of the field is clockwise. So we apply right hand grip. So the fingers represent the magnetic field and the thumb represented to the current. So this is the answer of the first part, uh, question number one. This is the answer of the question number one. Question number two will happen if the direction of the current in the solenoid is reversed, the direction of magnetic field will be reversed. The north becomes the south and the south becomes north. What will do the compass if the DC current is replaced by AC current? Now, the cycles alternating current. So what needle of the compass cannot be stopped in one direction. It will be vibrate around zero because no one direction of the current. The current uh, varies from positive to negative in cycles because it has uh, cycles. So the needle of the compass cannot be stopped, cannot be stopped in one direction. It, it, it will be vibrate around zero. Now, what are the sources of error in this experiment? Actually, of error here, we need more current. The problem is that the maximum current here in the lab is three ampere. We can't turn off the, the, the compass. It is not perfect. Also, the losing connection. This is one source of error. What about the conclusion? Why we apply the straight wire has magnetic field. The direction of magnetic field can be found from right hand grip. So the direction of the field, the direction of the finger, and the thumb towards the direction of the current. The second part of experiment, we prefer the two compass inside have the same direction and outside also have the same direction. So that means that the current in a circular coil has a magnetic field. The magnetic field can be found from right hand grip. The third part of the experiment is the solenoid. Also in the solenoid, we found that the current in the solenoid has magnetic field. The solenoid becomes a magnet, has north and south. So the solenoid, uh, our finger represents the current and the thumb represents the north. So when we perform this experiment, we found that this is the north and this is the south. When we reverse the direction of the current, the direction of the magnetic field will be reversed. So this becomes the north and this becomes the south. So we verify the magnetic field of a current in the three parts. I hope you understand this experiment. Thank you.